Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video ad tutorial for the problem ADA and PET taken from Spodge. The lecture is powered by an academy. More about them later in this lecture. So the problem statement is, uh, you can go through this problem statement, pause the video and read it. Uh, the problem basically means that you are given two, uh, there are T test cases. In each test case, you are given two input K which is an integer and s which is a string so what we want we want a string with a minimum length such that it contains uh, s as substring at least k times okay that is the question so again we want a string of minimum length which contains s which is also a string as a substring in there with i mean at least k times so if i give you an example so this is what you have to print, print the uh, length of the, you have to print only the length, you don't have to find the string. Uh, print the length of the smallest string that contains string S as a sub, uh, substring at least k times. This is the example. If string was triple A and k was 2, output would be 4. Why? See, if you choose a string of length 4, which is AAAA, you can see triple A comes 2 times as substring. Here from first to three characters and then two to four characters so uh, this string s is coming two times in this string which is the uh, which is of length four so you can't have less than fourth length and have this string as a uh, substring two times okay so that is why this is the minimum length and output is four so this is the questions i mean this is the question that we have to uh, solve so let's see how we'll be solving this problem. So uh, we'll only focus for k is equals to 2 now and then we'll generalize for a uh, general k, right? So suppose uh, this is the input string and we want k is equals to 2. That means we want two, we want a minimum length string such that it contains two uh, uh, g o r e g o as substring two times, right? So what is the maximum length that you are 100% sure will contain two substring of given string? Of course, you can make a string uh, you combining two S, right? So if this is input S, I can combine S with S and I am 100% sure that this would contain S or uh, S substring, substring two times, right? Uh, so the question is, can we reduce the range? I mean, can we reduce the number of characters and still have two substring? For example, to get two uh, substring, what I can do, I can simply merge these two together and say, hey, look, this string contains this string as substring two times, right? But can I reduce the number of characters? As you see here, uh, the title is merge operation. So of course you are going to merge. So what I'll be doing, I'll be merging these two strings so that I can reduce the length. Now, how do I merge? I'll take x character uh, last x character of this and first x characters of this if they match completely i'll merge these two together so what i'm going to do for example i took one character last one character of this string first character one character from start from this string i'm trying to merge these two but the corresponding character should match these two characters are not matching so i'm uh, i cannot merge these together so so one length uh, merging is not possible. What about two length merge? As you can see, two length merge is actually compatible. And as you can see, now I can take a string instead of G O R E G O G O R E G O, this string, I can take this string G O R E G O R E G O. This is O, I'm sorry, this is O. Uh, so I can take this string and this will contain this string two times as you can see g o r e g o and again this would be the first substring and then again you can start from here g o r e g o again this is g uh, i mean uh, again this is o my bad uh, i somehow messed this up so as you can see this string is now appearing two times as substring in this string so what you can see here, we are able to save two characters. Initially, we had to combine these two together, which would have been two, two four, six, 12 characters string. But now we are only uh, using 10 characters, uh, six here and four here. We are able to save two characters, right? Basically, to add uh, this 
string already contains one substring to add the new substring all i had to do add four extra characters because these four, these two already exist right if i want to increase the number of substrings all i had to do is add these four extra characters again this is o to get one more substring right so we are able to save two characters because the maximum length of merge we were able to do was of length two if you are able to do uh, a merge of length greater than this then you will be able to save more characters but the question is how you can uh, find the maximum length of the merge because if you do it naively it will take n square time if i'm assuming n is the length of the string then it will take n square time which would result in tle so the question is how efficiently find the merge length let me take a moment from your life and explain about unacademy badges unacademy brings you the free as well as paid courses the best i would say so about the free lectures you can see there are many free lectures live lectures going on so link of the uh, link of free lectures i'll be providing in the description of the video and when it comes to subscription you might think why should i go for batches so so first of all when you go for a subscription you uh, when you are paying for a subscription you are not just paying for one batch or one particular course you are actually getting subscription for all and unlimited access to all of the batches and courses you'll be learning from uh, you can learn from your uh, favorite teacher and be part of all of the batches or courses running by them dedicated doubt sessions will be there so that you can ask your doubts in live classes additionally there is doubt support on discord where uh, educators and teaching assistants solve doubts you have different types of batches and courses running uh, for every level of programmer be it beginner intermediate or advanced level programmer you are also eligible for uh, industry accepted course certification if you go for one or six month subscription so what do you get uh, when you get for subs uh, you, when you go for subscription you will get live interactive classes where you can uh, interact with your teachers through comments or emojis if you have any doubt you can ask then and there uh, you will be getting uh, re relevant practice uh, problems on course chef of course and doubt solving support that i have already uh, told you about right and you can go for one three six or twelve month subscription you can use my code code and code underscore ua and get 10 percent off on each of these courses so let's head back to our lecture so the question was how to calculate efficiently the longest merge length right because that that many character we can actually ignore so how you will calculate that see when you want to calculate the maximum length merge actually what you want you want the maximum length of this suffix which is also the prefix again you want length of the maximum proper suffix which is also the prefix of the input string right how you can calculate that if you think about this this is actually the pi function that we have learned uh, while we were learning kmp algorithm kmp string match matching algorithm right uh, in my string algorithm series, I have taken uh, a lecture where I've explained pi function and KMP algorithm. So go ahead and learn that if you have not learned that yet, because we will utilize that. So basically, the length of the maximum merge would be pi of n minus 1 if n is length of the input string s. So see, uh, pi function you can calculate in big O of n time. So instead of n square time we are able to find the length of the maximum merge in big o of n time now once we have the maximum uh, maximum uh, merge length we can go ahead and find out how we'll solve this problem so see uh, when k is equals to 1 what you can do you can print the length of this string itself that would be your answer now let's go and see what would be the answer when k is equals to 2 when k is equal to 2 answer would be uh, length of this string plus these extra characters right what are these extra characters these are these how to calculate these extra character this is simply length of this string right the original substring uh, the original string s minus uh, the maximum merge length right because length of this string is this whole six character and then minus we are we don't need these character because these character are already present in the first string 
so for k is equals to 2 answer would be s length length of s plus these four extra character which would be s minus length of merge string so basically 6 plus 6 minus 2 which is of course 4 6 plus 4 that is 10 so for k is equals to 2 output would be 10 for k is equals to 3 or uh, we already know the length 10 string contains k is equals for answer for k is equals to 2 for k is equals to 3 we need these four characters again so uh, how to calculate the i mean how to calculate how many extra character we have to add uh, simply uh, s length of s minus uh, maximum merge uh, length of the maximum merge again 6 minus 2 right so this would be 14 so for uh, minimum length string would be 14 which contains the three substring right so if i show you the sorry if i show you the uh, actual formula for this if you see uh, when k is equals to 1 answer is n itself where i'm assuming string length is n right when k is equals to 2 uh, answer would be n plus n minus maximum uh, length of merge merge length basically right n minus ml because n would contains all of the characters then you need only n minus ml extra characters these many extra character you don't have to add these character so now you can go with this like g o r e g o and r e g o this would contain a g o r e g o two times right as substring when k is equals to three we need these many extra character to be appended at the end right and these many extra characters means n minus ml so basically n plus two times n minus ml right when k is equals to k this is for general k answer would be n plus k minus one times n minus ml and this k minus one is also in brackets so basically k minus one is being multiplied with n minus ml so this is your answer so the solution of this problem I'll be post uh, the link of the solution of this problem I'll be posting in the description of the video I've used a KMP algorithm to calculate maximum uh, basically your merge length uh, for that I've uh, for calculating merge length I've used pi function that we have studied that is being utilized in KMP algorithm so if you have no idea about pi function or KMP algorithm I have lecture in string algorithm series I'll be uh, I'll be putting the dis uh, link of string algorithm series as well as the link of solution of this problem as well as the link to the problem in the description of the video so go ahead and check that if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching of course if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section so uh, this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you